What is happening, my people? Welcome to another video. Let's talk boxing today. Um, and we all saw what's, I mean, by now, you already saw the upset between Anthony Joshua and uh, Du Bois. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, I mean, did I expect it? No, I didn't expect that to happen, but it is a possibility. It was always a possibility. Um, because, for one, we are talking about Matchroom, and we are talking about the zone. You know, that side of the street, Eddie Hearn, it's not uncommon to see upsets. Um, when it comes to to the zone, you know, and and I, I've said it before, you know, and now it's it's to the point to where it's like, yeah, it's gonna happen, you know, and it's been happening, and I think Anthony Joshua was a victim of one of these uh, occurrences, you know, one of these upsets before, so am I surprised? No. For various reasons, I'm not surprised, and I didn't, I didn't. I can't say that I expected this to happen, but I'm definitely still not surprised. Um, and even you know, trying to predict this fight, I don't think I I made a prediction for the fight. Not because it wasn't important to me, but because I truly did think it was a hard fight to predict, and in my personal opinion. Um, looking at, at the trajectory of, of the fights and what was going on outside of the outside of the of the fight in itself, you know, I knew that there was a possibility that uh, Dubois could win this fight, um, but I still stayed away from it because it was to me it was a bit of a toss up. Um, and, um, yeah, just, just looking at the fight, uh, you could see the, the, the camera pan to Turkey Alex Sheik. Turkey Alex Sheik not having a good time, you know, um, but I, I personally think it's good for boxing. It may not be good for the Turk, right, for Turkey Alex Sheik, but for boxing, this is good. Why? Because it's more real. Okay, it's, it's very common, the most common thing, the most normal thing, is for fighters to lose. We'd like to believe that there's a fighter out there, you know, or that your particular fighter that you like, uh, nobody could beat him. That's what you want to believe. But the truth of the matter is that it, that kind of guy or that kind of career takes a lot of fixing, takes a lot of tweaking, tweaking, takes a lot of movement in the background for those types of guys to remain undefeated. It's a lot of matchmaking involved. It's a lot of tricks of the trade involved for those guys to remain undefeated. Okay, and this is why... Um, you know, I say it, it, it's it's harder, it used to be harder to remain undefeated back in the day because they didn't have the science down to a T to where they could pick the right gloves and, and, and the right size of the ring, uh, the A side and the B side, um, would it be a rematch clause, would it be a weight uh, drainage uh, rehydration clause, um, you know, all of these factors corrupt the purity of fighting, in my opinion, and it's no longer, you know, who's the best of the best, or whatever, it's who can strategize better, right, and by the way, I'm not even saying that it's bad, I'm just saying that all of these things can be taken into consideration, and to, for me personally, it means less 
because a lot of these fighters, if they don't take, uh, if they don't go into the fight with the upper hand, they don't take the fight. And this is why a lot of uh, the fighters here in the U.S., they're so used to that type of strategy, that, that type of maneuvering, that, you know, yeah, they remain undefeated, but at the same time, nobody really cares about them. If you take a look right now, the biggest names in boxing have been defeated before. And they make the most money. And they are the most popular fighters in the world right now, today. And meanwhile, Terrence Crawford is undefeated, but nobody really cares. They still confuse him with Kendrick Lamar. Okay? Rihanna was looking at him for a little bit, and for, for a moment he was like, yeah, I thought you were Kendrick too. I don't even know what you're doing here. <laughs> I mean, but this illusion of perfection that we try to uphold these humans to a standard that very rarely any human has. You know, even like Bruce Lee, people always say, oh, Bruce Lee never got defeated. But people say that he has gotten defeated. So there's even rumors out there. Floyd Mayweather. People say uh, uh, Cast Cast Castillo, Castillo. Uh, beat him. You know, Miyamoto Musashi. Some people say some some guy with a with a with a stick, some monk, beat him with with a bow staff. You know, so even the people that that uh, remain undefeated, they have these asterisks. You know, but that what I'm trying to say with all of this is. This is closer to the truth. This is why it was so hard to become undisputed back in the day. Because the separation between weight classes was larger. There was no in-between belts. So there was less belts. You had to actually move up to those weights. You had to clear out the division. And it was really hard to do because they didn't have the science of stra strategy around boxing down to a science like they do today. And um, and we're looking at the zone, and we're looking at these upsets, right? And you start to realize, you start to, to understand that this is what real fighting is. It's more unpredictable. It's less um, sure. You know, and really... Um, the reason, one of the main reasons that it's been uh, trying to be controlled the way it is here in the U.S. is because the matchmakers want to continue to win um, easily. That's the only way they can control the market when it comes to to the betting odds and, and who's going to win, who's not going to win. All of that stuff needs to be taken into consideration and it's sure money for them. But when upsets happen, the house loses. And that's part of the reason why they don't they don't they don't like um, Eddie Hearn and they don't like the zone and they don't they don't like him over here. Because they everything about us, dude, here in the US has been manufactured for a real since the early two thousands. And late nineties, early two thousands, that's when it started to Start to get more and more corrupt and more and more controlled. Most of our champions from then on are manufactured. And you could see it how uh, how many times they, they win close fights. Close decision fights. If the same person wins the same close decision fights over and over again. He's being backed by the machine. Whoever it is. And like I said, if you look at the patterns, you could tell who they don't want to be. The face of boxing and, and, and what they want the face of boxing to look like. Um, but anyways, give you in a little bit here, but let's get back to what happened in, in the fight. Um, I've said it before. 
And in another video, I have told you guys before that Anthony Joshua um, can beat anybody, but he has to have the right game game plan. And I truly do believe that, and I still believe that, even though he got defeated badly, it's probably the worst defeat of his career. Um, you know, embarrassed badly. Everybody was watching, you know, his rivals, his enemies. <sighs> competitors. And all kinds of um, people from boxing and, and just, you know, just people in general. And, but I still believe that he can, he could bounce back. He did it before. And the reason I say that he, he can beat anybody if he's given the right game plan is because it's night and day when he got defeated by um, Ruiz. And then he turns around and comes back and beats Ruiz with a different game plan. So it's stuff like this that... that, that, that Makes you realize that Anthony Joshua is very moldable. And he's very... If you give him the right game plan, he can win. Now, the thing that I don't think he could do is adapt. And, uh, you know... He, you just have to give him the right game plan. You know, the, the thing that really bothers me, though, from this fight... Um... Is how bad he was. He did in the fight, and, and we're talking about a guy who has an amateur pedigree. We're talking about a guy who, um, who is the elite of the elite in boxing. Okay, he's up there. Okay, he's, he's he's up there with with, with the big dogs. Um, he's got him beat. He's got him beat by um. Oh, what's his face? Uh, uh, Usyk. Right, but we're talking about, you know, an all-time great in Usyk. You know, but... Um, but what I saw in, in this fight, guys, it was... I don't know what to, what to say. I could say embarrassing. It's a little frustrating as well to see someone like Anthony Joshua who has the credentials that he has make these and I can't even say amateur mistakes because they're not amateur mistakes they're worse than amateur mistakes amateurs have good fundamentals okay amateurs have good fundamentals why right? cuz that's what they've learned from the beginning that's the basics the basics are the fundamentals keep your hands up you know, um, pendulum step, or, or if you're doing just, you know, walking down your opponent, don't square up to your opponent unless you're on the inside and get a low center of gravity so you can push them back. If you're backing up, don't back up, square it up, back up, uh, bladed to your opponent so you can become a, a harder target. Th these type of stuff, you, you learn... In the beginning of, of, of people teaching you how to, how to box. You know, try to back up in an angle. Or around your opponent instead of straight back. All of these things he was doing incorrectly. Almost like he was told to do it. Now I know conspiracy theorists are crazy. Like Showbiz was talking about he, that... Um, uh, What's, what's his name? Did it on purpose. His coach. Uh, I don't know about all that, but I, I will say this. If you're going to do that to anybody, Joshua would be the guy to do it to. Because he is that type of dude. He's really a dream um, fighter for a trainer that, you know, knows what he's looking at and can... Um, win a fight in the corner. 
So he sees, sees an opening. Okay, this guy is um, he's dropping his hand after he throws a, a combination. It's a habit. Wait for the combination, cover up, and then throw a wide hook as he backs up. And someone like Anthony, he's going to go out there and do that. He's going to go out there and do that. He's going to he's gonna execute it like that. Easy. And with the power that he has, he's going to get very good results. Unfortunately, his coach wasn't doing his job. I mean, you, you go back and look at him. Look at that... Uh, um, the, the, when he was in the corner before he got knocked out, all right, he was way too confident. He got knocked out twice or I think three times or something like that. And, and he was way too confident. He went out in the fifth round way too confident. And you look at his coach, his coach, no sense of urgency whatsoever. Also, it seemed like he was trying to, like, and, and I was, I made a joke. I was like, it seems like he was trying to put him to sleep with positive affirmations. Like, on, on some, on some hymn, hymnos, hypnosis shit, bro. Like, <laughs> like, for real, like, oh, you do, it's all right, whatever. You just gotta, you just gotta pick it up. Or, or, nah, bro, you losing, you got your ass knocked out. You keep going in there with your hands down, you're going to get your ass knocked out again. It's going to be, it's going to be bad. Keep your hands up. Stop backing up, squared up, and leaning back without one of your feet catching you behind you. I mean, this is basic fundamental things. The other thing about Anthony is he doesn't have good reflexes and his upper body is too stiff. Which means that his, his, his style has to be adapted to what he has. If you don't have good head movement, guess what? And you don't have good reflexes, that's a recipe for disaster if you keep your hands low. You have to keep your hands up. All right, now some people can't afford to to keep their hands down. And in fact, some people, they're better that way. But that's because they're fast and they have good reflexes. As soon as some of that it's taken away from them just slightly. They start getting knocked out. Look at Roy Jones Jr. Look at Ali. You know, as soon as they lose a step, it's over. So, um, but yeah, Anthony. You know, he does, he doesn't have that. He doesn't have those natural talents. So he, every style is is. Um, suited for for every different type of people you know um and for for anthony i would i would recommend something like something a little bit more basic and more fundamental something like um um uh, robert robert garcia Right, uh, that trainer would be good for him. He would, he would work on his jab and his and his defense, keeping his hands up. You know, Derek James when he was under Derek James, Derek James had him. You know, fixed him up real good. You know, but whatever he's doing over there in in in, in London, it, it's just not working, dude. And and I don't know why. I mean, it, 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 I'm not saying that they're bad boxers over there, but just. Night and day, dude. Night and day when he used to train. And by the way, Usyk mentioned what I was talking about backing up. Um, the way he backed up, he said you got you gotta you gotta blade yourself as you back up, right? Because he didn't, he couldn't explain why. He just said that if you back up the way Joshua backs up, it's it's not good, right? But I, I'm gonna tell you. If you're bladed, you're a smaller target. Okay, number one. Number two, you have better balance, and you could catch your opponent squared up on the way in or just step in with a jab to the body. You're just in a better uh, angular position if you back up bladed than if you back up squared up. And if you back up squared up, it's almost like you're walking back. 
I mean, it's very simple. Like, just square up to somebody. It's, you're easier to push if you're squared up. If you have, if you're bladed, you know, it's, it's harder, harder to push. Now, the only way you can get better balance in a squared up position is if you get a lower center of gravity than your opponent, which is what inside fighters do when they're squared up to their opponent. They try to get low, and you see them get their head in, in the in in the opponent's show in the opponent's uh, um, chest. Why? Because when you you get your head in your opponent's chest, and they are off balance, not you. And that's really the fight in when you're squared up to your opponent in the inside game. That's the fight. That's the strategic fight. Is trying to get your head um, in your opponent's chest. So, and I mean, I could show show you better than than I could tell you, but um, but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying here. Yeah, but that's pretty much the zone, guys. Um, I think this is good for boxing. I think that, um, you know, they should they should keep doing this. Right. And they haven't stopped. I mean, it's it's been almost like, what, three, four years that the zone keeps putting up these fights. And a lot of them are upsets. And I personally think that's great for boxing. You know, the, the biggest news in boxing in this year was Ryan Garcia uh, beating the shit. I think it was last year or this year, beating the shit out of uh, Devin Haney. That was an upset. Okay, and then you go way back, um, the first Mexican, well, Mexican-American uh, heavyweight, a- Andy Ruiz beating Anthony Joshua. Now you fast forward to today, and you got another upset, upset with um, Dubois beating Anthony Joshua. So, and this is what, what, what gets the people going. This is what gets people excited. Why? Because you, you, businessmen, listen to me right now. One of our best heroes, our best boxing heroes, is a fictional character named Rocky Balboa. And the reason we like him is because he's an underdog. It's because he did not have the favor of anything. He was meant to go in there and lose and just give uh, the champion, Apollo Creed, just another win. But he upset it. He lost, but he won the people. You got to understand that we got to make more fights like this. This is what people like. This is what people want to see. They want to believe that they too can have a chance if they only had, you know, the opportunity. And when they see something like this, it speaks to the heart of humanity as a whole. So more of this, 